Hello and welcome to the HVAC Diaries. My name is Jessica and I am an HVAC apprentice here in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. I work with my dad and my brother and we do commercial and industrial refrigeration and air conditioning. This vlog is sponsored by Nice Job, an online reputation marketing company that will help you get and manage reviews for your business. I was trying to source some rooftop units this week, specifically an eight and a half ton and a 10 ton rooftop unit. And you guys, we're having such problems with supply shortages in our industry. Some companies were quoting 20 weeks, 38 weeks, one was even 50 weeks. That's like a whole year to wait for a new unit. That's crazy. So I threw up a little uh, video on TikTok and it seems to be the case across the board, across our industry, across other industries and across the world. And I don't think it's a shipping issue anymore. I think it's a manufacturing problem. And with what's going on in China right now, this cooling season, the summertime in North America is going to be a very interesting time. I'm going to highlight two of the most exciting jobs from this week. Uh, one of them was a heat exchanger replacement on a train unit. And that heat exchanger we've been waiting for for four months. This poor company has gone through a very cold winter and a very cold spring as well without any heating. And now that the seasons are changing, they've got a new heat exchanger. Go figure. It was a really cool learning experience for me. You practically have to take the whole heating section of the, the unit apart. <clears throat> Including the blower motor. Underneath the blower motor are three little screws that are hidden that you have to get to. And it's so much work just to get to those three screws. But we gotta do it so it's done. We had to take out the combustion blower, we had to take out all of the burners, we even had to take out the condensate trap. Um, we had that thing completely apart. And I have to say, it's pretty cool when the heat exchanger is actually missing, or all of those components are missing, because you can see right through the unit. I took a cool picture. <laughs> I had to. Putting it all back together was kind of a lot easier now that we knew kind of where things came from. Taking it apart was a little tricky, but putting it back together was pretty good. And the other cool job that we did involved a crane. Everyone loves crane day, although crane day is always very exciting and so stressful. It's so stressful, but everything went really well. It was a pretty simple lift. We were replacing the condenser of a chiller that serves a massive printing machine. Now this printing machine can't be down for too long because it literally costs them hundreds of thousands of dollars for any lost time in production. So we were able to shut the unit down while we needed to do our stuff get it get their portion of the unit running while we change the unit i know it's very confusing and then later on in the afternoon we were able to shut them down again for another short while and then get everything up and running again so first we had to recover all of the refrigerant and we used this thing i i love what it's called it's called a molecular transformator and it's basically like an extra little condenser that helps to remove the refrigerant, to recover the refrigerant faster. So we used that and recovered all the refrigerant, cut our pipes, got the new unit, got the old unit down, lifted the new unit up with the crane, and then we were good to go. And then even cooler for me specifically was, 
I was able to braise a couple of fittings. My dad usually does all the braising because, I don't know, he's just really hands-on and he wants to do it. Like he, he doesn't want to let go of his craft by any means. So he was, he was doing the braising and then out of nowhere, he's like, I want you to do the next few. Yeah, dad, awesome. So I got to braise a little bit, which is awesome, because I don't very rarely get to do that. And that was great. Well, I'll leave it there. It's kind of short and sweet this week. I'm just trying to figure out how to make, how to keep these vlogs interesting and not too rambly or boring or whatever so I decided this week to just to highlight the, the best two things out of my week so hopefully this works out I don't know we'll see how it goes but thank you for joining me again like this video if you liked it subscribe and I will see you next time thanks for joining me on the HVAC Diaries hey nice job